Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I've got a fantastic video for you today showing you how to make second skin repair masks. Now, these are not the peel off masks that you use for cleansing or exfoliation. These are the highly moisture retaining second skin repair masks that help provide a protective film against trans epidermal water loss so that you get absolutely outstanding results from application by holding moisture in and extended delivery of key actives. Now this product is actually made up of two dimethicone polymers. Now when they are mixed, they cross link to form a very large molecular weight polymeric network that provides strong wash off resistance to protect the skin in wound care, but also personal care applications. Now because it's transparent, what I've done is I've prepared one earlier where I've mixed it and I've made it extremely thick so that you can see what's happening. I've also put a little bit of a substance in here so you can actually see the polymer that forms rather than it being completely transparent. What we'll be making today will be completely transparent so that you can't see it and we certainly don't make it this thick on the skin. But just so you can see how strong but flexible that polymeric network that gets made is, I prepared a much thicker version previously. Here I have Ceraskin RS10A by KCC Beauty. And this needs to be mixed just before application with Ceraskin RS10B, also from KCC Beauty. Now to A, I'm going to add some of my active. And in this case, I'm using a Koski Kiss from Akat Evolution. Now this is a lip plumping and lip smoothing active. But of course, applied onto the decolletage area, it has a similar beneficial effect. It will help plump up from the inside and provide wrinkle smoothing benefits. To part A, I am also adding some vitamin E. I just give that a simple stir to disperse and make homogenous. And to part B, I'm adding the other half of the active. And this is so that when they're combined, the appropriate amount of active is delivered to the skin to get efficacy. And some fragrance. Just give that a little stir to combine and make homogenous. Now these can then be put into serum dispensers so that the consumer can mix just before application. You can see it's beautifully transparent. Now apply it to their skin. Now after 60 to 120 minutes that polymeric network will form. It doesn't drip off, it doesn't run. It simply holds the moisture in the skin and ensures good time release delivery of the actives in the formula. Now in forming the polymeric network, the product can feel a little bit sticky or tacky. So it's best promoted as a night product to apply at night. And by the morning, any residual tackiness or stickiness is gone. But the chest area is instead fully revived from all of that moisture that's been held in overnight and delivery of those actives. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.